Okay, let's sensitize our CP techs. All dual carry emulsions, all diazo emulsions are all sensitized the same. What you have to do is add water to the bottle and then this gets shaken up, totally dissolved, and then added to this. Now I might want to mention, this is a very light powder. It's so light, that the moment I pop this lid and take this foil off, powder is going to start floating through the air. So if you're sensitive to this, it's a good idea to wear a face mask. You should work under well-ventilated areas. It's not dangerous, but you have to handle it correctly. When in doubt, read the MSDS. Another thing is, wear safety equipment like an apron, face mask if, if you have to. You don't need it with diazo, but it doesn't hurt. So let's just open this up. Now all of our diazo comes with a seal on it. If, if you open this up and the seal is broken, chances are this diazo is not any good. If that happens, contact Chromaline we can get you a new one. Let's pop this here. Now the moment this seal comes off, you can smell the diazo. It has a real distinct odor to it. Next you have to use is water. Now this water, believe it or not, water is a very important part. You don't want to use mineral water. You want to use distilled water or tap water if your tap water is low in calcium or iron content because calcium and iron will attack the diazo, make it inactive. Good clean water, no big problem. When in doubt, use distilled. Now what you want to do is add water up to the shoulder. Take your lid, put it on. Now here's a little tip I give you. Put that lid on tight, because if this diazo leaks, it's gonna stain everything it touches. I don't care what it is, it's gonna stain it. And a nice, if, if you want a real good tan, it'll tan you. Walk outside, bam, instant tan, just like that. So, got the lid on nice and tight, shake it up. This can be the real boring part, because this can take a couple minutes. So you shake, 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 shake. Put it down. Do something, come back, shake it some more. You want to make sure this is totally dissolved. By the way, you don't want to put this down and come back tomorrow. Diazo ages extremely fast in the presence of water. You add this water, shake it up, and within the hour, add this to the emulsion. Any longer and it's going to damage the product. So we'll just shake it a little bit more. The more you shake it, the more little bubbles it creates. You know, sit down. Like I say, it can be sort of boring, but the thing is, you gotta do it right. Let's see what it looks like now. You can see right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. See all those bubbles? They're all breaking. That's actually looking pretty good. So, I'll put my user guide to the side. Take the lid off and use a mixing stick. Now the thing about a mixing stick, you don't want to use a chunk of iron, uh, like an iron rod, because that iron is going to attack that diazo. Use a wooden stick, or a stainless steel paddle, or a piece of plastic. And the whole idea is you want to mix it up just like you'd mix anything. You want it so it mixes nice and uniform. Add this diazo. Here's another little tech tip. Once you're done with this, Look inside. See if you can see any little blobs of diazo sitting along the shelf. Sitting anywhere in here. If you see any diazo, and believe it or not, I see a little spot of diazo. And you can actually see it's a little bit of a powder. See that? Just take a little bit of water. Not much, just a little bit. Shake it up some more. Say so you want this totally dissolved. Pretty exciting stuff, huh? There, that's looking good. Okay, 
and sensitize it. Now I take my little paddle, mix it up. Now when you mix this, like I say, you want to mix it nice and uniform. And once you're done mixing it, it's still not ready. You should let it degas for about an hour, maybe two, before you use it. Well, now that degassing, believe it or not, is a diazo. It is releasing nitrogen. And that nitrogen creates bubbles. And bubbles will relate to funny looking spots on your screen when you coat a screen. So you don't want that. Now this emulsion, before you mixed it, by the way, has a shelf life of 18 months. Once I add this diazo, time's a ticket. Now you have four to six weeks to use this emulsion. So if you can't use a quart in a month, or a quart within a reasonable time, you've you got a problem. But if you can use a gallon, that's the size you should buy. You should buy the sizes that you need. Now again, I'm working under yellow light. It's important that it's always be yellow, because yellow uh, blocks most UV. It doesn't block at all, but it blocks most UV. It is possible under yellow light to expose a screen over, say, an eight hour period. I've done it where I've had a coated screen. I'll take my photopositive, lay on top of that coated screen right on this table, come back the next day, remove my positive, and I can see the image on my screen just from this yellow light. So work under yellow lights, store everything in total darkness. Now this is looking pretty good. Why do you want to do that? Because this has a shelf life. Now that I sense that I have four to six weeks to use it. Let's more like uh, think about four weeks. So write the date. Today's date is there. Got my date on there. Ready to rock and roll. Set this aside, come back in a couple hours and I can coat my screen. 